Welcome to another edition of Easy On Cars. Today I'm going to show you what I've been working on and show you what I'm going to be working on in the future. So here I have my oil scavenge pump that I'm going to be using. This is a kit that a guy was using on his Corvette, I believe, or possibly Camaro. So I found it used on the GM forums, Corvette forums, and that's going to help us out by keeping our low mounted uh, turbos oiled. I also got some intake spacers. Now these are normally used for um, heat transfer between the intake and the block. So the idea is keeping your intake cooler, not a, being affected by heat soak so much. Um, these are pretty nice. They came with these uh, longer bolts, which I was I did not expect them to come with that. So that's a benefit. Um, I'll post the link of where I got these. These are the first aftermarket EG33 part I've got. So that's really nice to have some aftermarket support, you know, looking through forums and stuff and trying to figure out how to build cars. Um, us SVX and EG33 enthusiasts have uh, a lot to do ourselves compared to, say, people that have LS swaps or Ford 50s, uh, Hondas, Toyotas. I mean, most people can get aftermarket car parts, aftermarket manifolds, um, you know, turbo kits that you just bolt on. Here in SVX EG33 land, we just do it all ourselves. And as you've seen me doing it myself in uh, all my videos here, it's nice to be able to finally have one thing that I can just buy and not have to make. So that's what those spacers are going to do for me. Uh, really, I can show you what they will be doing for me. I'm not going to put them on yet because I'm waiting for the gaskets, but essentially they go under the uh, lower intake uh, there. So. There's basically the lower intake manifold that I call it that has uh, on the side you've got your injectors and it bolts right to the head and they, these will go under there and it goes gasket, spacer, gasket. So what I'm going to be using these spacers for has to do with the fact that I'm rotating the center section of my intake 180 degrees so my throttle bodies will be out here. Um, and the idea is that then my cool side piping can come right up through here and um, you know it makes the routing of that much cleaner in the engine bay but what happened as I pointed out last time if you watch the last video you'll see that right here the bottom of the um, idle air control valve hits on here when you reverse the intake because it's so much higher up over here from the rake shape of the intake that when you flip it around it actually hits here and it was only a small amount, like, you know, less than a quarter of an inch that I need to raise it up. So these spacers will do that trick for me. Um, that's one nice thing about being able to do that. Now, I would show you a little more of that uh, intake, but you're going to have to wait for the next video because it is out getting welded up right now. So stick around for that. Um, what I have been doing is mounting my intercoolers and also lowering the radiator. So I was really actually satisfied with the way I had the radiator mounted before. Uh, me and my buddy Jordan made it awesome. But, um, you know, that worked great for NA, but the positioning was a little bit off for my turbo aspirations, if you will. So I cut this section out of right in there, essentially, and I'm throwing that away. And I actually fabricated a bracket that you can see. So nothing fancy. Bolts on right here. Did some MIG welding. And so if you can see the radiator bolts to this just the exact same way. I've got a piece of rubber hose between the bolt and the actual um, you know, aluminum radiator and the actual uh, bracket that I made. Same thing over here works out pretty well and then also been working on the intercoolers here so you can see the intercooler is mounted I really just bent the uh, 
the stock, I guess call it, um, mount support that was on it and shaped it kind of to fit where I wanted the radiator to stick out. And so that's what is holding it up right now. It's actually not very stable. So then what I'm going to do is I have these, uh, basically I just bought some angle aluminum and I'm going to try my hand at TIG welding these aluminum to this bracket, something like this. So today I'll be working on fabricating that up. The nice thing is um, right now I have access to um, a TIG welder that can do AC. So um, I'm taking a class through a community college where every week I can just go and take whatever project I want and try to you know, use their, their welders. So my plan is to have these fabricated, or at least, you know, uh, ready to be fabbed up by the time I take them there. The only weird thing is going to be figuring out this angle. I mean, I can take the intercooler there and I can measure the angle, but when I actually weld it on, it'd be nice to have the welder here. But I guess that's, uh, that's just one thing I'm going to have to work around. So, yep, uh, this is pretty solid. I mean... Ideally, I can make some more supports for this. There's just a couple of, you know, welds there that I did to make this bracket bar. But besides that, it's actually really solid on the car. So, now I can show you kind of the idea here. This pipe is a little bit too small, but if you can imagine this being an intercooler pipe and coming, coming up from the intercooler and then going through here, just like so, and going to my intake. So I will have um, basically two of these coming through here, going to the throttle bodies, which should be right about here. And that's about perfect. I mean, I'll have to do a little bit of an angle here, 90 degree here on each one. Not very bad. Then also um, basically from the turbo routed this way, this all tucks behind the bumper. I specifically lined it up to stay behind the bumper. So that's going to be pretty nice when it's all said and done. But there's still more fab work to do. Even though we're getting close, there's still a lot of work to do left on this build. Some of the things you'll see me doing coming up are installing the oil scavenge pump, getting back my intake, and we'll also start clocking our turbochargers so they line up properly. If you guys are liking this build, one of the best things you can do is hit the subscribe button to show your support. Tell your friends or share this video any way you know how.